Hello everybody and welcome back to Shanika Owens TV. In this video, I will be sharing with you guys my Walgreens haul for the week of 10, 10, and 10, 16. Not a lot going on at Walgreens, but I was working with a spend 60, get $15 in Walgreens cash. And I stacked that with a spend 35, get eight paper booster. And everything came out to be free and a $19.20 money maker. I was able to do a easy pickup order because I did want to add these in my transaction, but they were flying off the shelves really fast. I will explain it in the video. But I want to say if you guys are not subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed to this channel, make sure your notification bells are on so you'll be notified when I post a new video. And please give the video a big thumbs up, share the video, and comment down below. But if you guys want to see how this haul became a freebie and a $19.20 moneymaker at Walgreens, then definitely keep watching the video. Okay, guys, this is my Walgreens haul for the week of 1010 to 1016. Almost forgot the date. But there's not a lot going on at Walgreens. And I only did one transaction. I did do pickup order for the first time. Once before, I tried to do the pickup order and it was rejected because things were out of stock and I didn't put substitute. This time, I did not put substitute as well. I was trying to put things in my basket to use my, because I'm working with a spin 60, get $15 of Walgreens cash. I was not about to tackle that. And on hubby account, he did not get any spin booster. So I'm like, what will I, what would I do for Walgreens this week? I was planning on getting diapers. So my focus was to work my transaction around diapers for my grandbabies. So what I did for my pickup order, because I wanted to include this in my actual spend 60 get 15 but as i kept checking stocks and stores they were leaving really fast and i saw that i believe running kimono and a few other people that posted for the olay it was free so i could not include it in my deal because it was leaving and i still want to take advantage of getting my freebie but because i didn't want it to the digital to go to waste and not get my freebie i just did a pickup order so what i did for my pickup order i'll go over that first um, I picked up the Olay Regenerus. This is a vitamin C with peptide. That was $9.49 online. I'm not sure what the price is in store because I just picked up my order and just left the store because I don't think they had any left because it's going really fast. Then I picked up two of the Colgate toothpaste and Colgate this week is about to get a $5 rest reward and they're on promotion of being $3.99. So two of those totaled me $7.98. I did have a four off two digital coupon for that. So I paid the $3.98, but I got back um, the $5 rest reward, making it free, and a $1.02 money maker. And that OLED digital coupon will deduct, even though it's a $10 digital coupon, it will only take off the $9.49. So for my pickup order, I wanted to try to get to $10 because now the minimum is $10. So I just added the Colgate in just to get my to my threshold and then do that on uh, online pickup order for that little simple deal. So my total for the two toothpaste and the Olay was $17.47. I used both of those digital coupons. It brought my final cost to pay $3.98 plus tax. I was able to roll in $5 in Walgreens cash online and just pay the tax out of pocket. But when I picked up my order, I did receive my $5 rest reward. So I will calculate this pickup order as a freebie and a dollar and two cents moneymaker. Even though I paid a rolled in Walgreens cash, I paid $3.98 out of pocket. I'm not going to include what I wrote. So I paid three ninety eight out of pocket. I got back that $5 rest reward. So it still makes this little haul free, the little pickup order free, and a dollar and two cents moneymaker if you guys want to get that easy pickup order. But like I said, because it's all over social media, that little freebie is disappearing really fast. So I didn't want to chance it and not include it with my haul. And I have to just improvise and come up with something else to do. So that's what I did for my first pickup order that actually went through. So I'll show you the receipt on there, but in the um in the um 
video, you will see clips of uh, the online order. So for this transaction, like I said, I was focused on getting diapers. I have twin grandbabies, if you guys did not know, a boy and a girl. They're almost eight months old. And they go through diapers pretty fast. I did stock up pretty uh, quite a bit before they were born. And now they're starting to run out. So luckily, grandma coupons and I can get these for freebies and money makers sometimes. So so this is an in-store transaction. So the first thing I picked up was two of the Huggies diapers. They're on sale at two for 18. So what for those total $18? I did have a four off two digital coupon for the Huggies diapers. So you'll use that four off two digital coupon and you'll pay 14. But you'll get back the uh four dollars in Walgreens cash because they're by two get four dollars in Walgreens cash, so it makes the final cost ten dollars or five dollars each. And like I said, guys, I'm working with a spend sixty get fifteen on this transaction. And I also had um that printed for me when I did um a separate a separate transaction. I did pick up hubby some shave gel, but I did not include it with this haul, and I did do the Kobe deal again. And I did get a spend 35, get $8 in Walgreens cash to stack with my spend 60, get 15. The only way I was going to do that, otherwise I would have rolled Walgreens cash. So um, moving right along, the Ubac Cotex, they're on the same promotion of buy two, get $4 in Walgreens cash. So I picked up two of the Ubac Cotex. And I did see, um, I think, couponing craze. Like certain digital coupons for pickup orders were glitching, but I did not do those deals because, like I said, I was trying to do items with the Olay and the Colgate and it says items were not available in stock. So like, I'm mean, like, you know what? I just gave up y'all and just did that. But some of those coupons were glitching and double dipping with some of the deals. But the Ubac Coltex is part of the buy two, get four. So I picked up two of those for two for 10. I did have a three off two did a coupon for the Ubac Coltex pads. So I paid seven. I got back the $4 in Walgreens cash. Plus there is an I bought a rebate for 50 cents. Some of you guys might have a dollar rebate, but I have 50 cents. So I got a dollar back from Ibotta for the Ubac Cotex. So it makes the final cost $2 or a dollar each. Then I picked up uh, two of the Scott uh, toilet papers at $5 regular price. Two total me $10. I used that $1.25 off IBC booklet coupon. I did clip it to my car because I did not want to forget. I tend to forget. And I had two a dollar off Scott toilet paper coupons from this past 1010 Smart Source. So both. After you use those coupons and the IBC, it'll bring your final cost of $5.50 for both or just $2.75 each. Then I picked up two of the Irish Spring Body Wash. They're on promotion of buy two, get $5 in Walgreens cash, and they're on sale for $3.99. So I picked up two of those at $3.99, totaling me $7.98. I used two dollar off Irish Spring Body Wash coupons from the 1010 Smart Source. There's also is a 50 cent off digital for the Irish Spring if you guys did not get inserts. And you guys can also pick up the soft soap and there's a 50 cent off digital coupon for that as well. But I paid $5.98 and I got back the $5 in Walgreens cash, making it 98 cents for both or just 49 cents each. Then I did the skin submit deal and we haven't been getting raises for quite some time. So these are really, really cheap and also to add in my spend deal. So these chic is spend 15 get $5 in Walgreens cash. So I picked up three of the skin submit disposables. They are $5.99. So three total me $17.97. I used four, three of those $4 off skin cement disposal razor coupons. I used two from the 1010 Smart Source and then one digital coupon. So I paid $5.97, but I got back the $5 in Walgreens cash, making it $0.97 cents or just $0.32 cents each. Now, last but not least, I threw in as a filler because I had rush rewards to roll. I threw in a done dish soap at $0.99. Cents. So my total for everything that you see, minus the pickup order, was $64.94. Minus the IBC booklet, $125 times two. It doesn't count towards your spend, spend total. It brought my final cost to $62.44. I used all of those coupons mentioned, plus I had a $6 rush reward from previous week, a $4 rush reward, and a $5 rush reward. So using all of those coupons, it brought my final cost to pay out of pocket because I cannot roll any Walgreens cash. I was going to do contactless pay for the first time, but I forgot because I was on my lunch break and I was rushing. But I still paid $24.44 out of pocket and did not roll any Walgreens cash. But guys, in return, it was well worth it to pay the $24. In return, I got back a total of $41.62 in Walgreens cash. Yes, I got... 15 for spending 60, 
I get eight for spending 35. I get four twice for the Huggies diapers of buy two get four. I also got four for the Coltex. You buy Coltex of buy two get four. I got five for buying two of the soft soap, not soft soap, Irish Spring body wash. And I got five for spending 15 on the shit. So it brought my final cost. Uh, let me go. I have to write it on the paper. It brought my final cost to free and an eighteen dollar and eighteen cents money maker. But because Trent, my little pickup order was a freebie and a dollar and two cents money maker, it makes my final haul for my pickup order and an in store transaction free and a nineteen dollar and twenty cents money maker. So yes. I have when I have to pay out of pocket, it have to be worth my while to pay out of pocket. But I don't feel twenty four dollars is really bad for what I picked up, plus my return value of all of my Walgreens cash back. So with that being said, guys, let me show you this receipt. Both receipts, my pickup order receipt and my in store receipt. And then I did get back my five dollar rush reward for my Kobe deal. But all in all, guys, it made this Walgreens trip a freebie and a nineteen dollar and twenty cents money maker. So. That is it for my Walgreens haul. Like I said, not a lot going on at Walgreens. But like I said, I worked around my deal to reflect diapers. And I will be picking up more diapers in the future because my grandbabies need them. So let me show you guys these receipts. And then that is it for my Walgreens haul for this week. So here is the pickup order. There is the Colgate. And there is the Olay uh, Regenerous um, Facial Cleanser. As you can see, that digital coupon took off $9.49. And then my digital coupon came out for the Colgate toothpaste. Like I said, I paid $3.98, but I got back that $5 rest reward, making it free and a dollar and two cents moneymaker. And then there is the $5 rest reward for doing a Colgate deal. Here is the in-store receipt. There is the Huggies diapers, the Irish Spring body wash, the U by Coltex, the Dawn dish soap, the Skin Cement razors, and then the Scott toilet paper. As you can see, that's my spin booster, so a spin 35, get eight. All of my coupon scan with no issues, but only issue I had uh, was the Scott toilet paper coupons would not scan. It says the item does not the the item does not match or something like that. So he did have to enter those in, and he also had to enter my rush rewards in because for some reason those will not scan as well. But other than that, everything else came off as planned. My four out of two digital for the Huggies. My four for the skin cement razor and then my three off two for the U by Kotex. Like I said, I paid $24.44 out of pocket plus the taxes. And in return, I got back $41.62 in Walgreens cash. And I did break it down for you guys. I got um 15 for spending 60, 8 for spending 35, 4 for the Huggies, 4 for the U by Kotex, 5 for the Irish Spring. And five for the skin cement disposal razor. So yeah, guys, paid twenty four forty four, but I got back forty one dollars in Walgreens cash. So definitely rough the trip of stacking both of those boosters and paying the twenty four dollars out of pocket. But yeah, guys, that is it for my Walgreens haul for this week. Not a lot going on, but it was definitely rough the trip to get all of those Walgreens cash back on my return value for what I pay out of pocket. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. To point out a few items you can grab at Walgreens, like I said, not a lot going on. And those boosters are really getting high at Walgreens, but I made it work. I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome to my channel, guys. Thank you so, so much for subscribing to this channel. And thank you to all my old subscribers as well. Coming back each and every week, watching my videos, sharing my videos, liking my videos, and doing all of that good jazz you guys know. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. I can't thank you all enough. And I'll see you guys in my next video.